Hi guys and welcome to Magic. So in this video I'm going to show you the new process of uh, creating your own uh, ChatGPT based chatbot using Aista. Uh, you go to Aista.com, there's a link in the description of this YouTube video if you haven't been there already. If you're here for the first time, sign up. Um, obviously not here for the first time, so I'm going to log into Hub. I'm now at Hub and um, now uh, I'm just going to delete this one to start out from scratch such that we're at the same place. We've already for the record updated your existing cloudlets to use the latest version. So you don't need to delete your old cloudlet, just like log into it if you already have a cloudlet. I'm going to create a new one though. I'm going to put it in uh, GB and uh, this process is going to take some 30 seconds, which point I have my own cloudlet applied into our Kubernetes cluster. Now, for the record, if you have already been here before and you have an existing Cloudlet, you can just like fast forward, I guess, 90 seconds or something uh, until we're inside of the dashboard. However, you do want to wait for like 30 to 60 seconds after you're logging into your Magic uh, dashboard, such that the front end uh, can actually figure out it has a new version and refresh your dashboard. Uh, I'm just going to log into my Cloudlet here now, which is going to open up a new window. We need to be, uh, disable pop-up blockers. I'm going to dismiss this guy. I'm going to go to manage and I'm going to go to machine learning. At this point, I need to provide an open API key. And uh, for the record, I destroy my... Uh, open AI API keys after every single YouTube video. So there is uh, no point in uh, trying to copy it. Then I'm gonna supply my key here now, save. And now I get access to uh, the entirety. You probably already have been here if you have tried this before. However, the process is completely different. Let me demonstrate that by actually using an example website that uh, is run by a couple of friends of mine in Limassol, billion-air.org. So you can see this website is obviously about, you know, CO2 emissions and, you know, reducing your carbon footprint and, you know, going green and stuff like that. Right, so our, their mission is to, you know, combine uh, investment initiatives and stuff like that to, to figure out how to reduce CO2 emissions. Okay, so let's put our Cloudlet here and let's uh, just copy this URL and then I'm going to create a new model and I'm going to call it um, uh, billion dash air underscore or Right, so I now have a model with, which I intend to use on this particular website. I click import on it, paste in the URL, I uh, reduce this one, and uh, then you click crawl. And this process, of course, is going to take some time. Yet again, you don't need to recrawl your existing website. I need to emphasize that if you have already crawled your website, don't crawl it again. Just like fast forward a couple of more minutes into the YouTube video and watch from the point where I start vectorizing uh, the site. Because now, uh, the point being that uh, now I don't need to train my model at all. Because when, this, uh, when I have my training data, I just need to vectorize my existing training data. I do not need to train it. Do not click this button, like ever. Just forget about that button. The thing you want to do is vectorize your model after you have scraped the site. However, before we do that, let me just uh, ask about CO2, right? Then I'm going to use the default uh, skin here, embed. I'm going to go to HyperID and just to have an example web page to actually put this in, I'm going to expand etc. and www and create index.html file. And then I'm gonna just uh, paste in this uh, JavaScript inclusion thing, save it. And then I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a default HTML page for me, please. Which point I'm using the full ChatGPT to actually create a HTML snippet for me that just like destroy, uh, shows uh, 
some like saying default HTML. Then I'm going to do here, go up here. I'm going to paste this into head section here, important. Then I'm going to save it. And now, of course, if I go to eagle-portugal.gb.ace.com, the URL of my backend here now, it's going to serve me this HTML page. And now I can ask about CO2, okay? However, instead of asking about CO2, I'm going to ask, what is billion air? And remember, this was a website. Whoops, I need to turn off. And by the way, for the record, you should not do this. You should actually register a reCAPTCHA key. Very, very important. Otherwise, people can brute force your, your model. However, I'm going to have to click advanced here. And I'm going to turn off reCAPTCHA. Set this value to zero just for the purpose of demonstrating. You should not do this. You should actually register a reCAPTCHA key and configure magic to use that reCAPTCHA key. However, it doesn't matter for the purpose of demonstrating now. I'm just going to turn it off here now. And then I'm going to ask again, what is billionaire? And the interesting part now here is that, you know, ChatGPT starts hallucinating because it doesn't know anything about billionaire, right? Billionaire is an aviation services company. What? Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with aviation. In fact, quite the contrary. If you have an aviation service company, you're increasing CO2. These guys are all about reducing CO2. So, I mean, this is literally as dead wrong as it possibly could be. Why is that? Well, because billionaire.org is a tiny website with like, I don't know, 200 visitors a month or something. So ChatGPT and OpenAI doesn't give, pardon my French, shit about billionaire, right? So now if we go back here now, we see now we're done creating OpenAI training data. We go to training data here. We filter on billionaire.org. We see we now have 388 snippets. And actually, they are like really, really good. I mean, support carbon offset projects. Discover sustainable projects all over the world where you can blah, 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 etc. Now, if I go to my models and I find my billionaire.org model and I vectorize it, ta-da! Then after like two minutes, my chatbot is going to change its answers. So remember when I asked the chatbot like two seconds ago, literally, what billionaire was, right? It answered aviation company. Well, once this process is done, it's going to give me a different answer. And you can actually check on the process by going here. You see all of these are vectorized. They're greened, right? Green, 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 probably got to go up to 150 or something before we find yellow ones, if there are any left, really, uh, even. Okay, now it's at 200, now it's at 220, now it's probably at 230. And when it's done with all of the 388 training snippets, then it is going to answer perfectly using billionaire.org as it's context. So now, let's see how far it has uh, reached. We're at 290, 300, 320, and we're probably done any second now. And we are done. 388 training snippets, perfectly applied. Now if I ask, and I got it slightly change my <laughs> question uh, because it's cached on the server. So I'm just going to change what is to what's billionaire. Right, um, it's the same question, right? It's just a slightly different uh, change of uh, sentencing to avoid uh, the service side cash answering me according to what it answered previously. And ta-da! Billionaire is an initiative of fund managers and environmental scientists driven by financial advisors with the aim of reducing CO2 emissions by 1 billion metric tons by 2040. It is a platform that brings together the highly motivated community of eco-conscious investors with financial advices at the center of guidance, encouragement, practical solutions, and advice. So this was the answer it had previously before I trained it, and this is the answer it has now. And if you go to chat.openai and you ask it what's billionaire, it's probably going to give you this answer. However, if you go to this URL, and you ask it, what's billionaire? By the way, I'm going to destroy this cloudlet when I'm done with this YouTube video for the record, so there's no point in going to that URL. But if you had done so, it would have given you this answer. So this is the new process, yet again, stopped 
training your models. I cannot emphasize this. Do not train the, your model. Forget about this button. This button is like the super duper duper advanced version. And it's highly incorrect and it starts hallucinating once you go slightly off boundaries. This thing here is a million times higher quality on your end resulting chatbot vectorize. Anyways, there's a link in the description of this YouTube video if you want to reproduce what I did. If you already have a CloudLat, the only thing you got to do is to go to Hub, log into your CloudLat, find your CloudLat and click Vectorize. And then when you're done with that, you need to click Configure, you need to click Advanced and you need to click Use Vectors here in the bottom right corner, Use Vectors. And that's it. And you've got a chatbot that is capable of answering questions a million times better than we were capable of delivering to you previously. One final little uh, concern here. If you get things that look like this red thing up here, even after having turned off reCAPTCHA, don't turn off reCAPTCHA for the record. Register at reCAPTCHA. But if you start getting like red things here and you get in your log that something is wrong, you might want to reduce this one, max tokens down to 1,500. Why? Because uh, if um, it is too high and um, ChatGPT or OpenAI uh, re returns too many tokens, then it kind of like chokes and it refuses to, to return your request and an error occurs. So you might want to return max tokens to 1500. That is um, answer size of 6000 characters in total. Anyways, thank you for watching. Remember to like, click, subscribe, share with your friends, etc, etc. Have a nice day.